Crafter, and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna keep the intro brief here today, but I just want to introduce this kind of mini series that I'm doing. You're not gonna see me much on camera other than my hands crocheting, but for the next several Fridays, I'm going to be bringing you a new video each week teaching a crochet texture or crochet pattern, however you wanna think of it. Basically, it's going to be a little series of crochet stitches that you can then incorporate in bigger projects and other things you're working on. So today we're going to start with the basket weave stitch. And when I introduce it, I'm going to start by just talking through the pattern just really quickly. And you may be able to catch on to it from just looking at the sample that I will have and me talking through the pattern. But then after I go through it, then I will show you in depth how to actually crochet this pattern. Also, I felt like this little series in the name, so I'm calling it either Friday Crochet or Crochet Friday. It like almost rhymes, but doesn't quite, so I can't figure out which way to say it. So a future me when I'm editing this video will have to decide when I like make the title say, but it's gonna either be Friday Crochet or Crochet Friday. I think I'm leaning towards Crochet Friday. That just sounds better when I say that, but yeah, let's jump into our first Crochet Friday. So here is a sample of what the basket weave pattern looks like and it's called the basket weave because you have kind of these pieces that go up and it's like they go under these pieces that go across and kind of up and under and so it looks like a basket weave. So the way we're able to create pieces that look like they're going up and pieces that look like they're going across is by using front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So let me really quick run through the stitches you will need to know to complete this project. You will need to know how to do the chain stitch and double crochet, or instead you could optionally do a foundation double crochet, and I'll put a card up there with a tutorial for that. But I'm gonna show you how to do it where we start with a chain and double crochet. And then the other stitches you will need will be front post double crochet and back post double crochet, as well as a half double crochet stitch. If you're not sure how to do any of those, you can pause this video, click the card to find some tutorials on how to do those stitches, and then come back to this project. So I'm first going to give you a fast overview of how to work this project, and then I will go through the detailed tutorial. As I mentioned, there's two ways to start this project. You can either do your first row with a chain and then double crochet, or you can do uh, the foundation crochet as your beginning row. If you opt for doing a chain, and then double crocheting evenly across for your first row, then you will want to do a multiple of eight plus four chains to start. Meaning you'll do eight chains plus four, you'll do 16 chains plus four, or maybe 32 chains plus four, however many multiples of eight you need to get the length you want. And then you'll need an extra four to create basically our returning chains for on the side. Once you chain your multiple of eight and then an additional four chains, you will work a double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from your hook, and in every stitch going across. We will count that turning chain as our first double crochet, so between that and all the double crochet going across, you will have a multiple of eight double crochet plus an additional two. So if you want to do the foundation double crochet row, you will do a multiple of eight plus two additional foundation crochet stitches. So if we look at the sample swatch here, I went ahead and I have eight stitches here, eight stitches here, and eight stitches here. So I did a chain of 24 plus an additional four chains to create my turning chain and have one extra stitch on the end. So we do eight because we do four of a stitch, four of a stitch, and we keep repeating this pattern so we have these patterns of eight. So the basic idea is once we have our double crochet row started, we're going to work two pairs of repeating rows. After we do row one, rows two and three, will be a pattern of four front post double crochet and then four back post double crochet evenly along and then a half double crochet at the very end. We'll do that for the first two rows. Then the next two rows we're going to flip it where instead of starting with four front post double crochet, we will start with four back post double crochet and then four front post, four back post, four front post and work across. Do rows four and five like that and then we just keep repeating that process. So if we look at what I've got here, this right here are two repeating rows. And then here's the other two repeating rows. And then we go back to repeating these two rows to create this row here, and then repeat those rows, and so on to create the basket weave pattern. So now that we've got a feel for what the pattern's going to work up like, let's go ahead and actually start working on this. I'm using this size H five millimeter hook, and I just have this random yarn. The nice thing with this is you can use really any kind of yarn, just you wanna adjust your hook size to a hook that works well with, this, with the size of yarn you're using. So for me, that means using a size H hook. To start, we wanna put a slip knot on our hook and then we want to chain a multiple of eight. I'm going to do two times eight, so I'm going to do 16 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then one, two, And so now I've got a multiple of eight, I'm doing two times eight. And now I need to chain an additional four. So one, two, three, four. So here I have a chain of 20 because I did two times eight, which brings me to 16 stitches. And then I did the additional four chains. So I'm going to turn my work and in the one, two, three, fourth chain from my hook, I'm going to work a double crochet stitch there and work my double crochet. So this chain three right here is going to count as our first stitch. This is like our second stitch in the row. And then in every chain working across, I'm going to work one double crochet. So when it's all said and done, I should have 18 double crochet all together. So here we go. I have worked row one. So row one is the only row that we do not ever repeat. And when it's all said and done, you will have a multiple of eight double crochet plus two double crochet. And remember, we're counting that chain three, that's our returning chain, we're counting that as a double crochet as well. So here I have a multiple of eight, so I have 16, plus an additional two for a total of 18 stitches. And now it's time to get into our repeating pattern. As I mentioned, there's essentially four rows that we repeat this pattern of, but the first two are the same and the second two are the same. So really you only need to learn two rows and then you just bounce back and forth repeating them. So here's how we do rows two and three. We're going to start by chaining two and then turning our work. So we're gonna count this chain two as a half double crochet stitch. So that's like our stitch in this first stitch here. So we're not gonna work in the spot there. In our next stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. So to do this, if you're not familiar with the front post double crochet, is it's the same steps as a double crochet, but we just change where we insert our hook. So you're going to yarn over like normal, but if we were working just a double crochet, we would go in the top here underneath that V along the top. But with front post, we're going to work around the post of our stitch and we're gonna work it around the front. So we're gonna come to the right, push our hook to the back, and come up on the left side behind that post. So basically we're putting this post to the front and then we're gonna finish it off like a normal double crochet where we yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do three more front post double crochet. So I'm gonna work around this stitch here, work a front post double crochet, Work my third one around the next stitch. And my fourth one around the following stitch. These front post double crochet are going to create the upward pieces of our basket weave pattern. Now we want to create the horizontal pieces. And to do that, we're going to do back post double crochet. We're gonna do four of those. And it's really similar to the front post double crochet. Just instead of inserting our hook from the front to the back, we're gonna insert from the back to the front. So I'm gonna start with my yarn over. And this is my next stitch right here that I'm going to work around. But I'm gonna bring my hook to the back side of my work, come up the front with my hook, and go down the back with it. So basically the hook's in front and the post of the stitch is behind my hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull up the loop. It's kind of like we're working behind our stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two to complete that back post double crochet. I'm gonna work a back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches for a total of four back post double crochet. That's my Third one I'm working on here. And my fourth one. And so that's going to pull the tops of these other stitches to the front and create those horizontal bars. What I've done so far, the four front posts and followed by four back posts, that's the repeating part for this individual row. I'm going to work that pattern across until I have one stitch left and then I'll work a half double crochet in that last stitch. So we're going to do four more front posts. One, two, 
three and four. Whoop, lost my hook there. And four. Followed by four back post stitches. One. Two. Three. And four. And now I just have one stitch left, which is that turning chain of chain three that we counted as our first stitch. And in that top chain, that third chain, I'm going to work a half double crochet. So that's where you yarn over, insert your hook and through the loop, yarn over and pull through one, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is row two. We're gonna repeat this. So to repeat row two, we're gonna chain two, turn our work, work four, front post double crocheting. One, two, three, whoop, three, and four. Follow that up with four back post double crocheting. So one, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern of four front post followed by four back post until we get to the end of our row. And then in the second chain of our returning chain, we're going to work a half double crochet. So that's rows two and three. Rows two and three are work exactly the same way as each other. Now we're gonna work the other repeating rows, which is rows four and five. They're very similar. We're just gonna change the order of whether we do front post first or back post first. So to start, we're going to chain two. One, two. Turn our work. And in the first four stitches, we're going to work four back post double crochet. So rows two and three, we started with front post, but rows four and five, we're gonna start with back post. We're gonna work four back post. This is one, two, three, and four. And then in the next four stitches, we're gonna work four front post. So we will go one, two, three, and four. You may notice that these stitches sit kind of towards the back because they were back posts that we had, done, we had done. So you kind of have to go a little bit behind the horizontal spacing. That's our fourth one. So now we'll repeat this. We'll work four back posts followed by four front posts until we get to the end of our row. And if you did more than 16 stitches, you'll just keep repeating that until you get to the end. And in our last spot in the second chain of our turning chain, we will work a half double crochet stitch. That was row four. Row five is a repeat of row four. So we start by chaining two. And we're gonna start with four back post stitches. One. Two. Three. four, and then we're gonna follow it up with four front posts. So one, two, three, and four. 
and then repeat the pattern of four back posts followed by four front posts until we reach the end of the row. Once we reach that last stitch, we will work a half double crochet in that second turning chain. And that is the basics of the basket weave pattern. If we want to continue this and make this larger, we will just keep repeating rows two through five over and over and over until it's the size we want. So this is a section of rows two through five, this is a section of rows two through five, and this is a section of rows two through five. You can see how it creates this really fun basket weave pattern. I love this one because it's such a thick and soft texture. This is a great one for blankets if you wanna make a blanket that doesn't have a lot of holes in it, but is nice and thick and cozy. It's very plush. This would also be cute for a pillow cover if you wanted to make something that had a lot of texture. But I love how it's so simple and yet it's so classic looking and fun and spunky. If you're going to incorporate this pattern into a project you're working on, I'd love to hear how you're going to use it. So let me know that in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I post new content. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to be doing these Crochet Friday videos for the next few, several weeks, and I'll probably do some more throughout the year. I know I have a lot of people who follow me who specifically watch my crochet content, so I wanted to have some content that was specifically for, directed for you guys instead of having a batch of tutus that are crochet related and then nothing crochet for a while. So I just wanted to incorporate some more crochet into my channel. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and as always, happy crafting. I'm trying to film and someone keeps watching me. She was actually meowing really loudly earlier. I don't know if we'll actually pick that up in the recording or not. Hey Pepper! Hey baby! Yeah, I know!